what's going on guys it's your boy jesse d123 back with another video and in today's video we're going to show you guys the best cards to use in the new ring the bell event drop a like if you guys are excited man and without further ado let's hop right into today's video yes guys your boy is back we're back from vacation guys and we're back to bring you guys our first youtube video back <laughs> from the vacation so above me right now you guys see the ring the bell event it ends may 31st that's six days from today the rules are any hitters any starting pitching but silver or lower relief pitcher so that's where i'm going to focus on in today's video the best like relief to closing pitchers to use in this event max team overall has to be a 96 in any games it is on quick counts though which is a w and it's an all-star obviously guys we're all grinding towards to get this 93 takashi trevor hoffman card he's going for about 20k stubs right now which looks pretty nice honestly once i get to 10 wins I'm done with this event and I'm moving on to BR. <laughs> All right, guys. So let's just get right into it. I might need to move my camera. Actually, no, we don't need to move our camera. All right. So, guys, when it comes to starting pitching, use whoever you guys want. All right. Um, starting pitching, I really don't have any suggestions for you guys to use. Maybe Kyle Wright. He does he has really good control in his pitches. Um, I use Casey Mize. I really like Casey Mize, has good control on his pitches as well. And Pablo Lopez. I guess those are the three I could recommend you guys to use. I'm pretty sure you guys have those three. So go ahead and use those three. But moving on to the bullpen, because this is where I'm going to put my main focus on in today's video, as well as the bench. Okay. So let's get on to the bullpen, guys. For starters, you guys got to have this Corbin Burns, guys. This 79 silver Corbin Burns is really, really good. Five pitch repertoire. Let me move the camera up just a little bit so you can see the. Hits per nine. He has 91 hits per nine, guys. And he has a cutter, sinker, slider, four seam. Um, he doesn't have the best control in the pitches, but he's a really, really good pitcher to come out the bullpen, especially in the six any game event game. Moving on to the next, you guys got to have this 75 veteran Zach Britton. 98 hits per nine, sinker slider forcing with 84 control on that sinker, which is really, really good. And you guys know Zach Britton. He's really, really good out the bullpen. Next, we have the 78 silver Kendall Graveman. And my webcam is covering it. He's playing up today, guys. Plus 10. He has 104 hits per nine. He has five pitches as well. Sinker, slider, four seam, circle change, and a curveball. And he has 85 control on the sinker and 99 control on that slider, which is really, really good. So go ahead and mix and match those pitches with maybe... Um, he doesn't really have good control on the other pitches, but those two pitches are really, really good. Um, plus, the, he's playing up today. Next, you guys got to have Aaron Lou, guys. Aaron Loop, Lou, however you pronounce his name. I have him parallel, too, so you guys got a minus two stats you guys see there. So, your Aaron Lou should probably be at 102 hits per nine. Plus, the 12 will put him at 114 hits per nine, guys, with the sinker, cutter, circle change, and a slurp. And if you guys know this guy... He is a very funky windup, guys. Very, very funky windup. Next, we're rocking with my boy Mark Melanson. This 87 hits per nine card, 76 silver, cutter, knuckle, curve, forcing, and a splitter. He has 88 control on that cutter. He's a really, really good pitcher. He's been doing good for me in the event. I highly recommend trying him out. Next, we have um, Brooks Rayleigh or Relay. I don't know how you pronounce his name. I, I have him in here, guys, because he has a sinker and a cutter. Um, he doesn't have the best control on those pitches, though, but he's a left-handed pitcher. Now, someone you can substitute this man for is Emmanuel Class A, the silver one. The live series, Emmanuel Class A. You guys know Emmanuel Class A. He has a 102-mile-an-hour cutter. Please use him in this event. Don't use this guy using manual class a I'm, i still have yet to try this guy out so honestly i don't know how he is but i would probably go with class a over him regardless next guys moving on to the second to the last guy is casey sadler guys he has 80 hits per nine i know it's not the best but you guys remember him from the other video a cutter curveball sinker he has 99 control on the sinker guys and 80 on the cutter and 98 control on the curveball which is really really good I believe last time he was playing up. This time he's not playing up, but he has really, really good control on the pitches. Now, finally, to close it off, we have my boy Andrew Chafin. As you guys can see, he has 76 hits per, hits per nine. He's playing up today, plus 14, and that's, so that's 90. Sinker slider forcing with 83 control on the sinker, 91 on the slider, and 88 on the forcing fastball. So, guys, 
go ahead and use Andrew Schaefer. He's really, really good. He does good for me. I wouldn't recommend you guys anybody who doesn't do good, honestly. Minus, I guess you could say Brooks Relay or Rayleigh because I haven't really used him. But guys, there's one more person I have to mention for you guys. And O'Day is also a good um, honorable mention. If Devin Williams is playing up, he's playing down today. If he's playing up, go ahead and use him as well. He's a really, really good pitcher. There's one more pitcher, guys, I want to recommend to you guys. I just don't remember exactly who it is. Emmanuel Class A. All right, guys, so that last pitcher I was talking about is the 79 silver AJ Mincer. He has 86 hits per nine, kind of has a funky windup. And as you guys can see, he has a cutter, force him in a circle change, and he has 86 control on that cutter. This guy and Emmanuel Class A are two people I forgot to mention. All right, I did mention Class A, but AJ Mincer for sure. Go ahead and throw him on there if you guys like. I can throw AJ Mincer for Brooks Rally right now if I wanted to, which I'm going to. Um, but I got to add Emmanuel Class A eventually. Now, let's move on to the bench, guys. Now, the bench recommendations. I only have two of them for you guys. Um, Tim LaCastro. Tim LaCastro, the 72 bronze. This is going to help you with your 90 overall rating. Make sure this man is on your bench because you guys can see his speed stealing and base running aggression is 99. <laughs> That's what you guys want on the bench just in case you guys need a pinch hit situation or excuse me a pinch running situation And again, this man could play second short left right and center field So you guys have a lot of options on who you guys want to substitute out because he can back you up in the outfield or in the infield as well Make sure Tim LaCastro's on your guys's bench and I would say Alfonso Soriano Um comment down below right now if you guys have a really really good um, Left hitting or excuse me uh, a really really good hitter that hits lefties really well the only one that I found on my team from the cards I have is this Alfonso Soriano. He has 82 contact and 120 power. Alfonso is really, really good off the bench. Of course, you guys got to have Jock. That's a no-brainer. This man just hits tanks. Um, I have Eugenio Suarez there as well because he hits righties pretty well. Good. Uh, he hits righties well. Good. Wait, he hits righties good as well? Something like that. I don't know. And then I have Rafael Devers as well, out, as well on the bench because he hits righties really, really well. And as far as, guys, you're freaking... Um, starting lineup fix it however you guys want because we can literally use any single card we have so there's no real best cards to use for that it's just up to you it's personal preference but for the bullpen and for the bench i gave you guys the best cards to use and i truly do believe those are the best cards to use but yeah guys so that's going to be it for the video man the first video back from my vacation what a banger guys i'm really really congested right now i apologize my voice sounds like crap but we had to get a video out for you guys now. To the people that just stayed to the end, just know, guys, we're going to be streaming today. It is 3 o'clock when I'm making this video. I'll probably will be. I'll probably say we'll be streaming around 5, 5.30 today. So be on the lookout for that. We're going to be streaming here on YouTube and on Twitch. So whatever you guys want to watch me on, go ahead and do so. But I appreciate you guys for watching today's video, man. Drop a like if you guys enjoyed. And I'll see you guys in the next one. It's been your boy, Jesse D123. And I'm out.